Hi, Kelly. Happy Monday afternoon. Hi, Jesse. How are you today? This is so odd. We're doing an afternoon session. Yeah, afternoon session. We got we're getting our giggles in for the afternoon. <laughs> well, you know, you have to you have to end your Monday somehow. So this is a great way to do it. Perfect. <laughs> so what are we going to talk about today? Well, we have so much more to talk about for 1811, and today we're going to focus on something else in acquisitions, which has been a long time coming, and something that I know a lot of our partners would be super happy for is um, the ability to make adjustments to invoices. So Jess is going to do a little happy dance. We This is super exciting. I know. We've been waiting for this for quite some time. Um, it'll be super easy now for staff and librarians to enter in any type of um, changes that were made after the fact for receiving that invoice. You know, whether it's a processing cost or a vendor made a mistake or there was a typing error when you were entering something in, it'll be easy now to go back and adjust that information. Well, perfect. You just said processing cost, which we didn't add as an adjustment note. Should we do that now? Perfect. Let's start it off. Okay, so one of the things that you do have the ability to do when you make that adjustment is choose an option of what, what's the reason behind this adjustment. So this is, since it's one of those option drop-down menus, you're going to have it in your authorized values. So with your new 1811, you will have a new category under authorized values called adjust. Just, yeah. adjust, adjust, adjust. <laughs> So we added a few, um, we added like a library mistake. So if I just incorrectly added a couple of wrong numbers, um, a vendor discount that maybe wasn't added or we hadn't ac accounted for when we originally put the invoice in. And then we also had a vendor mistake. I'm sure it's probably not something that they um, like to admit to making mistakes, but you never know. So now let's add another one called um, processing. So I'm gonna go at new authorized value. That probably. And just add that new value. So this will be another um, option that we have when we add that adjustment as a choice. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to probably, what, let's start with maybe an invoice that we've already closed and we've just realized that we made a mistake or they made a mistake. That's perfect. So yeah, let's go right into acquisitions and look for an invoice. Perfect. So I'm going to go into my acquisitions. So let's go into our invoices. <clears throat> let's go to Amazon. Search it up. Okay, so we have this invoice number. Of who knows who wrote that C notes? That was definitely me. And there is a closed invoice. So let's go ahead and click that invoice. So now you can see I have this, this top portion that's normally there. And then I have an area called adjustments. And so this will give us a nice new table um, that allows us to add additional information in. Okay, so let's go ahead and add an adjustment. So we have it, we can add an amount. Let's see, how much was this for? This was a $10 Richard Scary's Pat Pie Rats Ahoy <laughs> Richard Scary book. That was a tongue twister. I loved Richard Scary for a I do too. Um, so what, $2 sound like a good adjustment? Perfect. So if we're going to um, add $2, we would keep that in the positive. If we were going to take $2, we'd make that into the negative. Who knows, but we're going to take $2 off and say that it was a vendor discount. Maybe they, maybe it was like buy one, get one. I uh, know because we only bought one, but it was a discount. Now you saw that I picked that reason from the drop down. So those are the ones we had pre populated. And I love, as always, the law loves to give us notes. So let's make a note. Let's do JZ and KPM. Here we go. And we're going to say what fund that we want to make that adjustment to come off of. And I can see, thank you very much, I can actually see the fund over here, but if I wanted to change it, could I do that? I'm probably make it come out of a different fund than this invoice? Yeah, I would It would probably screw up your numbers immensely, but it if probably you read it to. Well, what if you had a processing fund and we were doing a processing one, That's then true. we could do that. That's true. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. 
um, we do have this encumber while invoice is open. So you do have the ability to encumber that when the invoice is open. Ours is a currently a closed invoice, so we can ignore that. Yep. And then we go ahead and update this adjustment. Okay, we are all set. So now let's go back to our fund to go ahead and see that adjustment. So here we are at the funds that we made the adjustment for adult book. Um, we can see the items that we have ordered and spent. So we've received those. At the bottom, I can actually see my adjustment of $2. And if you were to make multiple adjustments, they would all line out. One item that is currently a bug, and we'll put that in the blog post for anyone to follow or make comments on, um, is the fact that this adjustment cost is linked to the line um, of Richard Scary and not the actual invoice number. So that will be corrected because the invoice is actually C note. It's not invoice 20. Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so why don't we do an example now where we're actually going through and we're receiving something and we, you know, finish the invoice and then we're like, sugar, honey, and iced tea, we forgot to do something. Absolutely, absolutely. So let's, okay, so let's find a basket that we can either um, first close and then receive or go ahead and receive. So I have here a basket, Kelly, basket number 14. Let's go ahead and view that. It looks like there is one item ordered and one item ready to receive, city dog, country dog. Perfect. I'll go ahead and close this basket. Good first step. And now let's go ahead and receive it. Okay. All right, invoice in hand. Invoice in hand. I'm going to give it a beautiful invoice number of Jay-Z. Yes. <laughs> Fun fact, my dad just told me that people call him Jay-Z. And oh. I said, people call me Jay-Z at work. Oh my gosh, that's cool. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Dog, country dog, let's go ahead and hit that receive button. You must have gone crazy with that replacement price. And go ahead and hit save. Perfect. Perfect. I'm just going to make that one and finish receiving. We're not going to close the invoice, but we're going to realize <gasps> adjustments needed. So we're here at, at that second stop. And now we're going to go ahead and just add that adjustment. The invoice is still open. So I'm going to hit add an adjustment. How much is this one? $25. What do you want to, what do you kind of adjustment do you want to do, Jesse? Um, you know, let's do $175. $175? No, just one seventy-five, like one dollar and seventy-five cents. Negative, right? Negative. Yep. Let's make. Well, I guess we could show a positive example now. We could, we could say, "Oh, we made a mistake, and it was really twenty-six seventy-five. We've said twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. Reason? It was obviously the library mistake because that's right. We didn't type right. Oops. Let's see again. And we're going to do that same funds adult book. And again, since this invoice is still open, we could say to encumber if we want. So let's go ahead and do that. And make that adjustment. As we scroll down on the invoice details, you can see it was originally 25 and now it's telling me my total plus adjustments is 2675. Perfect. Perfect. And for those of you who print them out, you can still do that control P uh, or command P if you're on a Mac and print out that information. There it is, there she be. Perfect. This is, I'm so excited. This is super exciting. I think this has a lot of um, this has a lot of librarians super happy to see this and we're happy to do a video to show you the steps. We'll include a blog post to this 
everything looks really good. Um, maybe next week we can roll in and talk about some of the other acquisitions updates we'll see because we do have quite a few more. We do. We love acquisitions and we know that these tutorial videos really help with the new updates and enhancements. Great. I'm so happy to have joined you today, Jesse, in this video time. Thank you, Kelly. We'll look forward to next week. Okay, sounds good. Have a fabulous rest of your Monday. You too, Kelly. Thank you. Bye. Bye.